What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you guys another division video. Today is going to be focusing all my attention on the next global event which we just got a lot of good information. I'm going to tell you when it starts, the masks that you can get, the modifiers in the playlist during the state of the game. They gave us all this really good information and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. If you're new to my channel this first time you're watching one of my videos hit that subscribe button and as always guys without you guys supporting my videos without you guys watching my videos I wouldn't be able to do this so I just want to thank you guys again and if you want to watch me live you you can always watch me live on Twitch. That's twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills. So the first thing we want to talk about, when does the global event start? Well, the global event's going to start May 21st and it's going to run all the way till May 27th. So we'll start at 8 a.m. UTC. That is a full seven days, a full week. It's not going to be two weeks like the last global event. So it's going to start on Monday. So be ready for that. Be ready to get the mask, the gear sets, just depending on what you need. And if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the modifier. The first modifier is Onslaught. This one's always going to be active. It's going to deal burn, bleed, and gas effects to enemies in addition to your normal damage. Now, reload will change the effect. So every time you reload your magazine, it will switch. It will switch from burn to bleed to gas to burn to bleed to gas. Every time you reload, you'll get a, a new type of damage, which is kind of cool because if you have burn damage, you'll be able to burn the enemies. If you have bleed, you'll make them bleed. If you have the gas, you'll give them that gas effect. The next modifier is Savage Onslaught. And what this modifier does is it has the onslaught behavior plus enemies are vulnerable to one effect type and resistance to other when you reload your magazine if you have that burn that bleed that gas the enemies will be resistance to one of those so they might be resistance to bleeding gas but not to burn so what you need to do is reload your magazine you might have to reload it like three times to get burn again use all your bullets reload again agents take increased damage from resistant enemies so those enemies who are resistant to bleed and gas and you're using bleeding gas they're gonna hit you harder so what you need to do is reload a couple times get to burn and then that way you can drop those NPCs before they put that damage on you and the final modifier is brutal onslaught it's savage onslaught behavior so it has the onslaught behavior it has the savage onslaught behavior plus when two or more group members kill vulnerable enemies within two seconds each member can reload to gain a damage bonus for a single clip. That's going to be a really good onslaught behavior to run when you're running in a group. So probably running Brutal Onslaught is going to be better than running Savage Onslaught alone. And then if you just want to play it safe, you can just run Onslaught and then run through everything. So now that we talked about the modifiers, the next thing we're going to get into are the mask. Now they did release a picture of the mask. I'm going to put them up right now. I'm not a big fan on either of them. The middle one is pretty cool. The one on the left and the one on the right. And you know me, I go for every single mask, no matter if they're ugly or nice. So I'm going to grind for the mask and I'll have a video out on how you guys can get these masks once we get more information and once the global event starts and how I'm able to get them and the fastest way to get them. I'll probably use the middle one if I use any of them, but the one on the left and one on the right is probably a no go for me. But these are the masks. I'm going to let you take a look at them for a second before we move on. And now for the gear sets. So that's going to be the big question. What gear sets do you get during this global event? There are four different gear sets you can get during this global event. The first one is going to be Firecrest probably one of my favorite pve builds to run i actually have a video of this i'm going to put a screenshot of that build video so that way you guys can look and there'll also be a link above so you can see what the firecrest does and how it works one of my favorite the second one is lone star another great pve build i wouldn't use it in pvp some people like using it in the pvp i feel like you need a dedicated healer to take a full advantage of this build but for pve lone star works great i made a build video a long long time ago i might actually get a couple pieces and revamp it lone star is the next one the third one is predator's mark probably a lot of people's favorite to hate favorite to love it's one of the most controversial gear sets in the game right now but predator's mark is out there so if you guys don't have that gear set and you're looking for some more pieces i'm personally going to get some better gloves so i can run it with my urban mdr but i do have a predator mark build video if you guys want to take a look at that the link will be above and here's a screenshot of that build video so that way you know which one to look for and the final is the healer build reclaimer now i've never made a build video on this one and i probably still won't i'm just not a healer and i've never been a healer in any game i've ever played but for all you healers out there we need you guys and if you guys want to pick up this build it's a great build to run if you want to run a healer especially in pve now in pvp you might want to run a hybrid healer something like a final measure with high electronics that way you still catch grenades you get that bonus buff and then you can still drop those big heals so those are the four gear sets we have firecrest lone star predator's mark 
and Reclaimer. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into the playlist and those will probably be the best ones to do to get the most amount of credits. So for the playlist, we have four missions you can do and one incursion. The first one we're gonna talk about is the incursion stolen signal. This is probably one of the harder missions for you guys to actually do. It takes a long time. So grinding this over and over during this global event probably won't be something you wanna do. Now, if you wanna complete the playlist, well, you can do this stolen signal. Make sure you have a four man team and with all the gear sets being out for a while, it shouldn't be too hard. Just remember you need some time because it's gonna take you a little bit of time to complete this mission. The first mission you can do is gonna be Broadway Emporium. And the thing about this, you can only do it on normal or hard, so you're probably not gonna wanna farm this. So Broadway Emporium will probably be something that you're gonna do just to farm the mask or just complete the playlist. Just like Broadway Emporium, we have Police Academy. You can only do this on normal or hard. The same thing, guys. Something you'll probably do just to complete the playlist, but not something you're gonna wanna do to farm. The next mission is something you could farm, but it takes a little bit, so I wouldn't recommend farming this one. It's Russian Consulate. You can do it on Challenging. So you'll get some decent GE credits, but I still wouldn't farm this one I'll probably do it once or twice if you're just bored of farming other missions there's still some better missions you can farm besides farming Russian consulate but this is part of the playlist and the final mission part of the playlist which I know a lot of guys do farm no is war game power plant they do it on legendary fully run through this mission in about 20 minutes and they were all running tactician so this mission can be farmed you just need a really good team and put it on legendary and you'll get a lot of GE credits now if you want something a little bit more simple and don't have to worry about finding a a good team or having specific builds then you guys know what mission you guys need to do Lexington Event Center a lot of you guys like this one you can do this on challenging so you'll get some decent GE credits even though it's not part of the place you still get GE credits you can also do another fan favorite which is gonna be Hudson refugee camp you can do this also on challenging there's three bosses at the end so either doing Hudson refugee camp or doing Lexington are gonna be the best bet for a lot of you guys who don't have someone to play with and don't have a group to play with to run through missions. Now, if you do have a good four-man group, I still love Clear Sky. You can run this with any build you wanna run and pretty much run through this. And I imagine with this global event modifier, you're probably gonna be able to clear Clear Sky really fast. So this is probably gonna be my go-to. You can do this on Heroic, have a four-man team, and just run through it. Now. If you guys are really talented, then you could probably do Warren Gate Power Plant and run it with four tactician and do it in about 20 minutes. And that is the playlist, guys. Remember, we have Warren Gate Power Plant, Russian Consulate, Police Academy, Broadway Emporium, and then Stolen Signal. And then if you want to do other missions, you can. And remember, you can do the open world bosses. Each boss does drop GE credit, so that's another way for you guys to farm. Another way I like farming, if you guys haven't watched any of my other videos, is I always do the weekly HVTs. If you do it right at the beginning of the week, you can actually knock it out twice. So you should be able to do it on Monday and then also do it on Friday. So that's what I would do. If you can knock this out first thing when the global event starts Monday, you can knock it out. And these will give you 750 GE credits all the way down to 550 GE credits. So when you add that up, plus the GE credits you get for killing each boss. Sometimes some of these have three bosses, sometimes they have two bosses. That's on top of the 750 GE credits, 650 GE credits, whatever GE credits you get. Do the weekly HVTs if you have target intel. Or find a friend and maybe he can buy some, you can buy some so you don't have to spend all your target intel. I wouldn't recommend doing the daily HVTs. The target intel is too much for the amount of GE credits you get. And the final thing you guys wanna know is back here, once the global band goes live, everything you want to know will happen back here. The modifiers will be right there where it says global event. Back here, the global event vendor is where you're gonna be able to buy those caches. So if you're missing some Predator's Mark, Firecrest, Lone Star, Reclaimer, you're gonna be able to buy those caches here for 3,000 GE credits. And then of course you can still buy the superior caches. Now this should say superior season six cache once the next global event kicks off. The global event activities is gonna show what tier level you finished in. If we look at the previous tier level, I finished in tier three and the last tier level, and that was around 11,000 GE credits. So it seems to be if you're around 10,800, 11,000, you're gonna get into tier three. Now, 
If you're anything under that, you'll probably end up in tier two and then of course tier one. And that pretty much wraps up everything guys. I just wanna say thank you guys again for watching this video. If you guys still have any questions on Global Event Onslaught, let me know in the comment section. This should have covered everything you need to know. The only thing I'm gonna make as soon as the Global Event kicks off are the mask, how to get them, the fastest way to get them. I will be bringing you that video just like I always do. And you seem to really like those. So make sure if you guys enjoy this video, hit the thumbs up, let your friends know about this video. Say, hey look, the next Global Event is starting Monday. Go check out Nothing But Skills' video. If you're new to my channel, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys again for all the support. If you don't see me in last stand, if you don't see me in skirmish, if you don't see me in the dark zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills is out.